Point of contact is an essential part of a full rigid body physics system because it tells us where to apply certain collision resolution physics such as the rotation and torque and things like that. Um, from the separating axis theorem, we can derive several key factors uh, that are required to calculate point of contact, including the penetration depth, the uh, direction normal, and the orientation of the two bodies relative to each other and in terms of a collision. Um, since there are two realistic scenarios in which two bodies can collide, um, edge on edge or point on edge, first we have to determine which of the two is, is the case. A third scenario, point on point, is so unlikely to occur that we simply let this kind of collision slide a frame until we can calculate it as one of the other two cases. Um, to determine whether a collision is point on edge or edge on edge, uh, we simply use this conditional. If the first body's rotation, mod 90, is the same as the second body's rotation, mod 90, then we know that the collision is going to be resolved as edge on edge. Otherwise, we know it's going to be resolved as point on edge. In either case, we need to know which body gave the axis onto which the minimal overlap was originally projected. In the case of point on edge, this will be the body whose edge is involved. In the case of edge on edge, this will simply, this will simply tell us which body to use as a reference point for the rest of the calculations. For now, we'll call this body A and the other one B. Also, in both cases, we need to find the point of B that deepest penetrates A. In point on edge point of contact, the collision, the collision Adding the collision resolution vector, which is the direction normal times the penetration depth, to the steepest penetrating vertex will give us the point of contact. In edge-on-edge -edge point of contact, this penetrating vertex only serves as a factor in the equation to find point of contact. Let's start with point on edge. To find the vertex of B that deepest penetrates A, we must revert back to the linear algebra of the separating axis theorem. The deepest penetrating vertex of B is that whose vector projection onto the axis of minimal overlap is closest to the vector projection of A's origin onto the same axis. Again, now we just add on the collision now we just add the collision resolution vector to this vertex to find the point of contact. Edge on edge is a little different. We can find a deepest penetrating vertex of B in edge on edge collisions with the same logic as with point on edge. Only now, this calculation gives us two vertex candidates and only one of them can be right. We can find the right one by adding an extra condition to the equation. That vertex must also be the closest vertex to A's origin. However, we still don't have enough information to find the correct point of contact, which should be a point in the center of the two bodies overlap. To find this point, we must average the vector of the penetrating vertex of B with the vector of a ver vertex from A. The second vertex is calculated as the vertex of A closest to B's origin. Average the two vertices and we have the point of contact for edge-on-edge -edge collisions. So here we are, the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa in the uh, ballroom, setting up for PixelCon. There's going to be a bunch of other booths and whatnot. Over there, I think there's like an EA Games for like Wii Sports EA or something. Yeah. So. Uh, Represent the Lysian shadows. All right. Well, here's the board that we put together. We'll show it to you later. I mean, more, but we're trying to assemble it right now. So, how do you feel, Kendall? Excited. Excited. Yeah. yeah. Check out the crappy <coughs> little uh, monitor thing we brought. Falco's idea. So we'll show, you, we'll show you the setup here momentarily. Alrighty, here we are at PixelCon setting up our booth for Lysian Shadows. Here's Marcel and Kendall. Here's all of Kendall's hard work back here on our trifold. And then here I have the Dreamcast PSP. We're trying to look impressive because over here we have EA Games with the 360. And over here for Lysian Shadows we have a Dreamcast and PSP. So you guys ready? Hell yeah. Gotta show them some of the art over there. Look at the uh, slime and the uh, turbulent. Yeah, we have a bunch of our art over there. I'll look at it in a sec. Uh, Alright, still setting up. I guess he's trying to get the PSP build to work or something. Yeah, I'm What's trying to lure here? people in with the Dreamcast and PSP. I think it's a sound plan. And then we have this uh, 
combined clip of the best of adventures in game development playing in the background looping forever. So when maybe if people walk by they'll see that. Yeah, when there's uh, more people here we'll probably turn the volume up, these little speakers here. We've got like a come follow us on YouTube section of the poster. And then over here, join our forums. I'll show that off later. So what are you working on, Kendall? Well, I'm taping nameplates onto all of our pictures that we're supposed to into the art showcase. Here's Kendall's grub. Yeah. Concept, sprite sheet. The grub, Kendall Hyatt. The grub, Kendall Hyatt. Nice. Very attractive handwriting, I must say. Thank you. Hey, so here we are at PixelCon, and uh, you guys want to check out the art showcase? We have a lot of stuff on display here. All right, so what are we looking at? Uh, you can see we got some of Freedom's artwork. This is the ancient. The ancient? By Freedom Sean Berger. I can't pronounce your name. But yeah, that's Elysian Shadows. And then this Here's is some other talented Anonymous. Art. Oh, you like the picture? Is that yours? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Well, let's introduce the artist. This is the artist. Uh, hi. This is going on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> oh, you're recording. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it looks good. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice. Awesome. I'll see the grub, Kendall. Here's uh, Pretum's rogue in his new cave. That screenshot in game, Elysian Shadows. And then here's the grub from start to finish. Sprite sheet, grub, uh, concept, all that. Check this one out. That backup, was pretty good. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. And then here's even more Elysian Shadows. Some of Kendall's enemies. Here's Alfred. More of Freedom's pixel work. And here's Rogue's sprite sheet. And this is Freedom's artwork. Cave like concept art. More freedom stuff. Check that out. Look at this guy. Yeah, that's he looks pretty cool. sinister. Yeah, he wants to kick your ass. <laughs> and then finishing up with Elysian Shadows over here. You got that. Freedom's concepts. And then two characters. That was the art showcase. So I leave the booth for like five seconds and an RE4 chainsaw dude finds it. What does that mean? Marcel, are you gonna like protect it? Well, this is Kendall and we're about to say goodbye to PixelCon, so let's just have one last look. Say bye. Adios. Bye. We came, we saw, we conquered.